What is up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com, where we are Long Beach Sports. We're here at the Moore League Cross Country Finals in 2010. These races basically just a three-mile advertisement for Long Beach's park system. This one, though, sweltering day, 99 degrees, the rabbits trying to beat the heat. <laughs> Kind of excitement you normally see before a football game. Milliken's done a great job chasing him down so far, but top runner for the Rams, Cameron Pantoja, injured. Holly's top runner, Chris Penn, not out. So we're not uh, between the heat and Penn and Pantoja sitting this one out. We're not going to get the battle at the top between those two guys we may have uh, envisioned for the finals. What we're going to get in this heat is a lot of pack running. They were about 30 seconds slower at the mile as a group. Than, uh, than we saw in 2009's race, which was, I don't know, 30 or 40 degrees cooler, it seems like. Almost want to take a dunk in the canal. But uh, the, the group does start to pull away. That's Miles Andrews from Polly on the inside there, starting to make his move. Down the stretch, it is Miles Andrews out in front. A new face, he was the 800 and 1600 meter champion in the track season for the Moore League. So obviously he's got some distance running experience and he put it to good use on a very hot day. Said he played it conservative in the first half, then opened it up when he knew everyone else was getting tired. He finishes in 1527, followed by teammate Miguel Batista, that's Wilson's Gustavo Placencia, Ruben Baerga from Pauli, and Andres Sotelo from Milliken at a 1553 to round out the top five. It's Pauli, Milliken, Wilson, Lakewood in the team standings. On the girls' side, the uh, Soul Sisters looking for their record seventh straight league title. Wilson hoping to stop them. They've been the, the second team so far, but you see that some Milliken girls in the background there, they would not stay in the background for long. Now, heat or no heat, we've pretty much been able to call the girls' section of the cross-country videos for the last three years just videos of Dynasty Gamage out in front, out for a run by herself. And that was the case early on. This is closing out the first lap. She's already opened up a very healthy lead. Polly, in a day where there was a lot of heat, saw the big three affected. So they definitely knew that they were going to need help from across the roster. It's my favorite shot. This is kind of a cross-country joke. Dynasty so far out in front, she gets her own pace bike out there clearing all the onlookers. And then the rest of the girls get their own as well. Uh, this is Ariel Stevenson stepping up in a big way for Polly at, uh, at Hartwell, coming in second there, and then Milliken coming up behind her. Dynasty, of course, finishes out in front at 1840 for her third straight Moore League individual girls title. Stevenson behind her, Melissa Ibarra from Milliken. Alexis Trujillo from Milliken is going to win that foot race over Allison Kearney. Haley Kirk from Wilson. Ruby Rodart from Milliken. We're showing all these because these next three is Rachel Pavey, Diana Ramos, and then Rebecca Aragwu for Polly at 8 9 10. Seal their seventh straight Moore League title. Congratulations to the Lady Jackrabbits. Uh, these photos from the award ceremony, very cool. Wanted to get some, uh, some images. Coach Filippo and Coach Burstel there have done great things for the Polly program. And uh, just some celebrations. It's a fun day. We love that atmosphere out across country. Very, very cool day. Uh, obviously not in terms of the weather. It was uh, more than a bit toasty, even just if you're running around filming it. So we've got CIF and State coming up. Some of these teams have got a big goal there. Stay tuned for all that at GazetteSports.com.